Hey Louvren and welcome back once again to Strategic Mind Blitzkrieg. This is a special bonus episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter Pumnarau. With that said, let's continue. I have to be uh, a bit careful here about things. Um, because the enemy has... the civilians that can sacrifice themselves and that can be a bit of a problem um, but I do also want to move forward sufficiently enough one two basically civilians can move two hexes so I explicitly want to stay at least two hexes away from them if I can help it This is an infantry, I'd, I'd wager. I'll just take that. That's also an infantry. One, two. Oh. Oh. It's been a, a little while since I played. So I don't know everything exactly. It seems like I have plenty of time for this mission too, so... Not to say that I want to take things easy, but... I also wonder if they can go into those kind of hexes. But I certainly think it's worth uh, rather uh, being safe than sorry. So. The, uh, I haven't secured any airfields yet. It's uh, the closest airfield here is this. I, I can try to go there. Oh. But of course I haven't cleared out this area. I just don't really need those. Think I'm good?
Hmm. Again, lots of artillery, but most of that doesn't really do a whole lot. Or AA, apparently. Yeah, that... Oh, they're attacking there. There are some things about city fighting that does make some things pretty easy. Especially during the night, the, the chance that you're gonna take it, almost any damage are like, slim to none, regardless of what they have. They have a gazillion tiger tanks, but I don't really care. And Panthers, okay, they gotta do some here. Yeah. Wonder where those civilians are going. It's very weird. Halder, I heard about your agreement with Gehring about the preservation of the historical city center. I must disappoint you. The new Fuhrer is once again interested only in his own gain. His soldiers are loading trucks with art pieces as we speak. He is planning to evacuate his art trophies out of the city. Understood. I refuse to bomb this city regardless. We must intercept Goering's trucks. I will dispatch several units. Uh, but I'm not even close. Uh, I'm gonna need to put a close eye on that. That, that. Cause it uh it, it seems to be pretty uh pretty weird there. can't actually get in there I'll just use First strike. These guys don't have uh, the overrun ability.
but you can still deal them a significant uh, blow there. Let's see. Only this unit can really move in there. Let's go. I thought we were done for. Man, am I ever glad someone else is fast in this military. I'm way too old for this kind of excitement. You've practically pulled us out of the news, Franz. Thank you. It's a shame poor Rommel insisted on being flippant with the interrogators. He would be rejoining the fight with fewer ribs broken. I was merely standing by my principles, Manstein. I've kept my morals throughout two European wars. I'll be damned if I let some Gestapo flunky beat them out of me. As for my health, don't worry. It won't slow me down. When we've stormed the Reichstag and slapped handcuffs onto Göring's wrists, then I will rest. And not a minute earlier. Friends, words can't describe how much I missed you. Without you, Germany would only be a shade of its former self. Now that our battle brotherhood is together again, let us clean house from the rats infesting it. We must capture the Reich's Chancellery. The Potsdamer Bahnhof, and naturally, the Reichstag. Time to put an end to Goering's madness. General, my people have discerned the location of the elite units, marked by personal commendations from both Führers. Most of them have impressive lists of atrocities on their record. These divisions will fight with great ferocity. I recommend you eliminate them as fast as you can. Franz, let me handle this. I have quite the list of grievances with these elites. They are yours, Irvin. Give them what they deserve. Are there their infantry only? Yeah, whatever. If that's it, uh, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. The thing that I'm most worried about, actually, is the cultural heritage side thing. The trucks, basically. Since I don't know where these trucks are going... Uh, it also has, says to intercept them. So, the problem then is, you know, which direction are they gonna go? If they go this way, it's basically impossible to catch them. Not really sure how I'm supposed to deal with that, since they also have a slew of AA units. Um, but we'll see. I need to somewhat just create a path through all of this too. And I need to be careful of the civilians in the sense that I can't just allow them to be uh, going rampant here or something. Oh, 
Wow, really? How? There we go. Okay, the goal here was to keep moving, making sure that they won't take any damage. Do I have a recon? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. Mm. As it is, like I said, uh, I need to be careful to not kill these civilians. They don't seem to be having that many more of them, but... You have one ammo, so they're not gonna be able to do more after this anyway. Um, but I'm definitely looking to get towards uh, this area quickly so there's a chance to intercept these guys depending on where they're going. I have no clue where they're going so I have to be careful of that. Anyway, this uh, lone AA will deal with the fighter or I have my own fighter jets here. I'm quite far away from anything, but I expect to take that on the next turn, so that's good. And I don't need to use these. Yep. Now I'll get get past that. Definitely. What am I gonna use now? Yeah. Getting some intelligence data never hurts. They have two ammo left, two movement. That's not gonna help too much. Let's use Blitzkrieg again. Again, I need to be careful of the civilians. If they move and then do something I'll, I'll be in trouble so I definitely need to take a look at that make sure that uh, nothing crazy happens Those civilians seems uh, they seem to be uh, pretty much about anywhere really. I had hoped they'd only be in one certain area, but uh, 
I guess not. But I haven't seen them go through buildings. <sighs> Tricky, tricky, tricky. Basically, this entire line is filled up here. Not only do I need to move Recon up. Like these guys can go into this hex. I'm surprised they didn't do it, but they might have moved from up there. Um, I don't have any real reason to go into that hex. That's rather the unfortunate business about it. So I'm like, why, why would I go? Need to clear them out, so I might as well put you in there. Let's just use these high calibers. I mean, I don't care that much about prestige anymore. This artillery is pretty annoying here. That's probably also a civilian. <laughs> uh, it's useless to Didn't trigger these. So let's do that. Go in here. Now kill them. Kill them. Get rid of the civilians in that area.
That they didn't get any ammo is a little bit disheartening. But again, I'll try to avoid the... Uh, this middle section, I don't really care that much for it, and the same applies like uh, this area. I need to get around and see what I can do to intercept those trucks. Most of all. Which kind of means I need to skirt around the center. If they go in here, I'm just dead in trouble. But maybe they will not move yet. Ultimately, that would be the uh, best option for me. I can finish these uh, guys off with bombers. Um, let's actually see, because... There's still AA that guards it, okay. Now, I'm not gonna attack any of those infantry pieces, nor am I actively gonna go after those. So I'll move the tank. Up here, and they'll be safe because they can only move two hexes. Just one, two. Two, so you're okay moving in here. And moving across the water is not something that can just happen in a turn, so. Also at forty one per cent, that's uh pretty interesting. One, two, three, 
There's no way I can attack that with anything else, so they're just gonna have to suffer the attack. I don't really care. Oh. And just get out of range. So that's good. to check because if this is this is probably not an infantry or uh, not a civilian this will be um, uh, my recon is here It, for the moment, doesn't seem like they have any of those in the immediate vicinity. These guys might still indeed be able to do just a little bit of damage, etc. I think it's safe to assume that the AI will also be uh, capable of getting supplies anywhere they want. Guess I'm just uh, only moving the other ones because I cannot uh, move them afterwards again. I think this is two. I must have hit it at some point. Okay, I'm gonna move forward. If I. It doesn't seem indeed like there's within two hexes of, of this uh, a problem.
two, three, four, take at least these out. I could do that and then move down. Taking care of those civilians whenever I can makes it so that I'm, I'm not uh, waiting for any nasty surprises here. I think most of the enemy units are also static, so that should be pretty good. Hmm. Right, I still have some business to take care of. Ideally... Six. It's actually good. Because there don't seem to be any other civilians in that area. Indeed. I, I would have spotted them by now. This is probably a civilian though, one, two, so I have to be very careful. Or it might be a civilian, but I cannot see that now. It is not. Sure, I can surrender the Gestapo headquarters now. That that doesn't really matter anymore either way. And I'm supposedly getting supplies there. I don't know exactly from what. This is not a supply hub. Oh, I got one here. Sweet. Okay, so we can move one more hex. Bunch of these tanks. The only thing that's really dangerous here is the elephant. Is But none of these units are considered to be SS either, so they, they don't count. 
Um, but I have a supply issue, kind of like. Well, really but hmm those guys hey Mostly, I actually want to move these guys back again, so I don't want these to engage this kind of stuff, it's very deadly. So, I'll move them back somewhat, so it doesn't turn into a slaughter fest. And I do have these here, I'm not going to put them in there. Like I said, it's going to cause too much damage at that point, but... ready for that at 45% now so we still have a ways to go I'm sure they don't have any supplies. Given... That these are the closest supply hubs that they have, yeah. I can use these bombers to start rounding up any remaining infantry and such that would otherwise potentially pose a bit of a problem. And They aren't going to send any tanks or anything. If only I had that airfield. I...
think I'll just move them slightly forward so they can go to that airfield when the time comes. And I don't need to engage that unit. be stopped there most likely but like these guys can technically not get past these two very easily but One, two, three, four, five, six, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. See you. Nah, that sucks. Alright, those things are immune to overwatches. It's not. Oof. Sucks. Couldn't have done Overwatch on the other ones. I know they're out of range. But. Sure. I guess pretty good they're going for the infantry here. Bye. Um, fair. Uh, like, I think the trucks did move. So, that would be a big plus. Oh, man. Did that do five? Franz, my men have located Gehring's main tank reserve. There is a depot in Schronberg full of cutting edge Tiger II tanks without crews. Gehring saw to it that those tanks were only supplied to the SS. The Wehrmacht has nothing like it. Heinz, this seems like the job for our main tank enthusiast. Bring your best crews and capture that armor. Ha! With pleasure, General. My troops are already on the move towards Schonberg. I'm like literally on top of it, so... <sighs> Let's take a look, though. Just quickly want to see whether those trucks are still there. Yes, they are. Every thir turn they are there, that's going to be great. Yeah, they did deal five. Ah, crap. It's going to be expensive to repair. Luckily, that's why I have a ton of extra prestige, too. Yeah. And... All right, well... I'm going to wrap things up here. Seems like, indeed, he gets new planes every single turn. 
Um, so probably, yeah, the um, airfields are key there. Once I take all the airfields, it'll probably stop because then they then he he no longer has any airfields left. So I should be gunning for that. Either way, I'm going to wrap things up. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters, Spooner Out, Ninja Pastor, C Data Swords, Mandingo, and Thomas Love Chlin. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye.